When a country assigns a new ambassador to the Netherlands, they visit the king and his palace to present their credentials. The new ambassador will be picked up at the embassy with a royal carriage from the palace. A chamberlain accompanies him. Today, the ambassador of India, the new ambassador of India, presented his credentials to His Majesty the King. I went this morning to the embassy to fetch the ambassador, and we drove by carriage to the palace where the ambassador presented his credentials. I have been a diplomat for 31 years and I have served in Hong Kong, twice in Beijing, in the Indian mission to the United Nations in Geneva, in the Indian Embassy in Washington DC, and as Consul General of India in Dubai, United Arab Emirates. I have also worked in uh, New Delhi, in the Ministry of External Affairs, uh, including as uh, Chef de Cabinet to our Foreign Minister. I have worked in our Ministry of Finance, and for the last five years, I was Press Secretary to the President of India. Diplomat TV was wondering what it's like for a Chamberlain to join an ambassador during his visit to the King. It's a very nice occupation, which takes a couple of weeks every year from my time. It's an honorary function, and I like very much um, this kind of uh, task which I have, accompanying ambassadors to visit the King. It was wonderful. The king was warm, friendly, chatty. Uh, we spoke about a number of issues. He knows India very well. He has traveled many times from the time he was a little boy. Uh, his father used to take him along with him when he traveled in India. And his father uh, was a person, according to his biographers, who not only was fascinated with the past of India, but firmly believed in the future of India. So we discussed a number of uh, topics, uh, which is uh, where India and Netherlands can work together, uh, including sports, including water, uh, financial inclusion, uh, agricultural exports, uh, sports infrastructure. So it was, a, it was a very warm, friendly conversation. I am very happy to be now formally the ambassador of India to the Netherlands. My hope and my effort would be to take this relationship to a new height which has never been reached before. Go on. I think there is huge potential in a number of sectors. Netherlands has considerable strength and world-class expertise as well as companies working in the field of water, in the field of agricultural exports, in the field of logistics, uh, in all aspects of science and technology, especially innovation. Netherlands has some of the best universities uh, in the world. So these are all areas where India can cooperate with the Netherlands and India can benefit from the Netherlands. But equally, India has uh, software, IT uh, superpower. Uh, we have uh, companies who have established their base in Netherlands and are catering to the market in Netherlands as well as neighboring countries. 
there are many countries which are using Netherlands as a base to supply to the whole of Europe. We asked the new ambassador what will be his first activity as ambassador. We are going to mark the International Yoga Day. Uh, yoga is this ancient science which was developed thousands of years back by the Indian uh, saints, by, by people in India who devised a system whereby they could, through different poses and different breathing techniques, you can rejuvenate yourself, you can sort of cure diseases in your body and you can ensure that you are in good health uh, as well as have a long life. अंतर्राष्ट्रीय योग दिवस पर विश्व भर के योग प्रेमियों को अनेक अनेक शुभकामनाएं इस शताब्दी में हम अनुभव कर रहे हैं योग ने पूरे विश्व को जोड़ दिया है जैसे योग शरीर मन बुद्धि आत्मा को जोड़ता है एस पर दी resolution of the united nation and by the initiative of our prime minister shri narendra modi ji this resolution was adopted in the un on 27th of september where he also said that yoga is a invaluable gift of the indian tradition based on that we decided to hold this event in each and every part of the world and you would not believe that it was passed by 177 countries of the un so this makes it a big thing good morning friends ladies and gentlemen lovers of yoga yoga today has become the world's largest knowledge based people's movement over the last two years millions of people have gathered in different countries of the world in different corners of the world to come together like all of you have come here today to mark to celebrate to publicize and to propagate yoga why are we propagating yoga and what is yoga yoga is a way of life a user manual for discovering the potential of every human being yoga has nothing to do with religion but everything to do with spirituality because the ancients of india have taught us that by disciplining and training our body and cultivating our mind we can unite with the ultimate consciousness by whatever name you may choose to call it let the entire world let entire humanity live in happiness enjoy prosperity live peacefully thank you very much dissolve your thoughts and try to attain a single and pure thought laat alle gedachten komen en gaan als wolkjes aan de hemel
Inhalation is a passive process. Do not concentrate on inhalation. Please rub your palms against each other and feel the heat. Thank you very much. It has been fantastic to host for the third time this International Day of Yoga in the atrium of our city hall. More than seven, eight hundred people attended this event, so it is wonderful because, you know, it is embraced by the community here in uh, the Netherlands, in The Hague today. The important thing is you can do yoga on your own, and it's good, but if you do it with seven and eight hundred people, it's wonderful. I mean, it's coming together, it gives you energy. It felt very nice uh, doing yoga, sitting in the ground and watching the sky through this uh, skylights and beautiful roof. Uh, the vice mayor called it the living room of the city. And we are delighted to be here and we are grateful to the city government for their partnership in this event. Thanks for watching Diplomat TV. For any feedback, ideas, or suggestions about our program, please email us at contact at diplomattv.com.